All right, ladies and gentlemen, this video is going to show you how to enlarge from your rough draft or your thumbnail sketch to your final draft. Now this time around we're going to enlarge using a grid. So once you've gotten your drawing signed off that I have said that it is accurate and I have handed you your final paper, then you're going to start this step. So you need to go get a ruler and you are going to, on your final draft, in pencil, very lightly, you're going to put marks along each side. Now, you've noticed that I've marked this ruler. If you would like to mark your ruler to make it a little easier on yourself, you can do that. You can take a marker and do that. But the measurements are three and three quarters and seven and one quarter. Notice how my ruler is right next to the edge of my paper so that I, I make sure that those marks are right at the edge of that paper. So three and three quarters, seven and one quarter. I keep turning the paper so that I am not worried about turning the ruler and so that my marks are consistent. Three and three quarters, seven and one quarter. Now very lightly, because all of the lines we're doing today are going to be light, that is the word of the day, you are going to line them up and then lightly connect. So see how light that is? You can barely see it on the monitor. That's good because eventually we are going to erase all of these lines. But they're going to be a tool that's going to help us until then. So you need to make sure you're measuring accurately and you're marking those lines. And then what do we have? A grid. Now if you go back to your thumbnail, you'll notice there's marks on the edge of the paper. What do you think we're going to do with these? The exact same thing. Because we are going to enlarge this year, or this, this time this semester, by using a grid. So nice and light, I put those new lines on top of my drawing. Now I've got a grid here and I've got a grid here. So now how we enlarge using the grid is you've got to kind of think about this like we did the upside down drawing. So this line here, it starts here, it starts a little bit up this line, it goes off the page here. So then I'm just going to connect those two lines. Look at how that line curves. I'm not worried about what the whole thing looks like right now. So see I got that little line right there. And then if I go up into the next box, so I'm going to work one box at a time. I go into this box, there's a line that starts here, it kind of ends here, it's, it goes kind of across, but it's kind of rounded, so I'm going to draw that line. Do I care what everything else is? No, that line is in that box. This box is easy, it's empty. Move on to the next box. This box has a bunch of stuff, so this line starts here, goes about halfway here, kind of connect, it's kind of rounded. Anything else? Oh, there's another line in this box that starts here, eh, here, and then it ends like here, connect them, and then there's kind of this circle-y shape that goes off. Oops, mine's not far enough over because it's not going off. So, erase. Erasing in the drawing. So that's okay. Lots of erasing. So maybe if I bring this down a little bit more so it's a little further that way. Okay, then there's another one that's right next to that that goes off and starts over here. Work your way across one box at a time until your drawing is enlarged to the, from your thumbnail to your final. 